Hi, this is Hello Summer Tea. I wanted to do a voiceover to go along with this video instead of just the playing music. All the music you're going to be hearing in this video is all going to be Skyrim original soundtrack. And I apologize if at any time you can hear commotion in the background. I'm dog seeing the neighbor's dog at the moment and he's hyperactive. He has grabbed a towel and I have given up and he can have it. In the top left corner you can see that there's a jousting picture. I have my own jousting pictures I have taken. I just at the time couldn't find them and I wanted to just draw something because at the time I was going to meet with some friends of mine and I was the one picking them up so it was fun. Unlike my other videos I actually remember to like record the sketch process I do. With my sketches I'll just do the basic just shape of the animal or person or whatever it is I'm drawing and then go back in and with the eraser and kind of do the details and erase and do the details and just back and forth until I'm satisfied. You can see that I had left one leg just kind of unfinished. I was having a lot of trouble with that leg and I think I kind of fixed it in the end. It could have probably been pulled in a little bit more, but at that point I was ready to just be done with it and ready to just get to the line work. You can see me adding little lines. That's going to be this kind of the scruff of the horse. I like scruffy horses, I like dark horses, so that's why I primarily draw. And for the sake of just my own well-being, that's not a docked tail he has. Let's just pretend someone who the person who owns him has like cut it short. And instead of going with a long mane, I decided to go with a short roached mane. The flowers you're going to be seeing me drawing are plumerias. They're kind of this tropical flower that has a really weird sweet smell to it. They're nice. I have a tree. I have two trees actually in my back in my front yard. They make a lot of flowers in the spring and summer. In a minute, I may be drawing the bridle to go along with this, along with the tassel. Both bridle and tassel are going to be erased in a minute. I didn't like how they looked, so the bridle is going to be replaced with a baroque bridle, and the tassel will be replaced with a nicer looking tassel. I want to do the strapped horse with the plumeria just because I really do like both topics, or like not really topics, but I guess animal and flower. So that's that. Going in and fixing the tassel. Sorry for any pauses, the, that was me just kind of going to my phone and looking up their references for the bright for like at least the tassel I shouldn't really have because there's two behind me I kind of forgot about. I just was going to draw a plumeria like petal but decided just not to. So I just to like, they were originally going to be gemstones. They didn't end up being gemstones. I'm doing a very loose kind of line work at the moment. I like loose line works. They're a pain to draw, not, well not to draw but to color. But, hey, what can you do? I draw eyelashes a lot on horses just because they actually do like have these really long eyelashes. If you want to make a look better, like the eye of a horse looking a little better, draw eyelashes. It works every time. I always go in and add a little more details, at least with the names. Also rotating like the, the image helps a lot when you can't really get the right angle. Sorry if you can hear that in the background, he has grabbed the towel again and started playing with it. Also a thing, another thing I do a lot is creating new layers to go on top of each other. This is just so I can have an easier time erasing lines I don't want and like keeping the ones I do underneath and untouched. You can also see I do zoom out a lot. That's just so I can see like the whole image in one go without having to like because if you really just look at one spot of the image you kind of forget what it looks like to the rest. 
again, I could have probably drove. I could probably have like brought that leg a little bit more in. I'm trying to fix it there. Funnily enough, like after watching this, I realized I had forgotten to do the chestnut on the other leg, and I kind of forgot to go back in again and fix it. I'll fix it eventually. Just getting the general force line work done. At a point, I do start to cross hatch certain areas on the horse that I want to be kind of shaded. I can't remember if I actually recorded it or not. I don't think I did because I don't think I saw me doing it when I was watching his back. But they, kind of, they just kind of show up, <laughs> I guess. Pretty sure what to say right now. I had a lot of trouble with this little area on the bridle. I don't know why. Eventually I get it to where I like it. Actuality, I could have done a much better job at drawing the plum areas. They kind of just seem like normal generic flowers. But next time, next time I'll do better. Again, all the Music is going to be just Skyrim original soundtrack. The names are going to be popping up on the bottom right of the screen. So if any anytime you want to hear the music, you can just look at the title, search it. It's all very pretty music. For some reason, as I was like editing this, me like rotating the flowers just took this really weird long pause. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it looks like I actually did forget to either record or add in me cross doing all the cross hatching. Again, apologize if you can hear the commotion behind me. He has grabbed the, the towel again and is playing with it again. He is a very big dog and he makes a lot of noise. And this is what I mean by like, the coloring's a very big pain, because I don't have a lot of my work doesn't actually like, have lines that connect with each other, so I have to like go in myself and like color in the the outlines, just so I can make sure the entire piece is like colored in. This red color is going to be actually the main body of the horse. It just makes it a little easier for me to color the body of the horse and then go with the other color and color in the accessories like the flowers and the bridle. It just makes it easier to color those with the colors they that 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 they need. Sorry about that. Rather than going in and like meticulously coloring in those, I do use clipping a lot, and it saves a lot of time. I can tell you that much. In all honesty, like these kind of very. Not short, but just kind of character, I guess. Drawings are some of my favorite to do. They're simple, they're sweet. I take way too long to do them. This one was about 2 hours and 40 minutes. And if you look back in my videos, the thylacine painting took about the same time. And that was a lot more detailed. I don't know what happens. I get in the, in the general mood. I decided to go with a black horse 
originally I was going to go with the Black Corpse, but as I was doing this, I was thinking maybe go with a Blood Bay. Not a Blood Bay, a Seal Bay. And then afterwards, I was like, you know what? No. Black Horse would be kind of looking nicer with the warmer colors I decided to use. So in the end, I decided to go with a warm color scheme for the accessories and the flowers and leave the cooler kind of blue-black for the coat. I do add in, like, skin texture. Not skin texture, but skin colors and, like, a darker red or brown. It, that's not it. I think that goes away in a minute. There you go. I do add the skin around the eyes, muzzle, and kind of around the ears. It just makes them look a little nicer. The socks were annoying to make look right on the horse. We eventually get something that looks a little nicer. That doesn't. This sock doesn't stay. I decided to go with a shorter sock in the front for the front legs and a longer sock in the back. I do add a little snip and a blaze. I thought it was cute. I like the snips and blazes. Most of my horses I draw, I draw have snips and, and blazes. And there's the skin around the eyes and ears. This really white kind of flaxen color does not stay. I decided to do that because the black I was going to use for the mane, which is way too dark for me to actually see the lines for the mane. So I just used it as a way to be able to color in what I wanted and be able to see it. And the same goes to the tail. And there's the darker black. This color I'm about to color the ears and doesn't stay either. That was just so I can see the lines again. Me pausing to look up a reference. <laughs> and there's the darker red kind of brown. Just add a little bit of a detail to it, to the horse's coat. I tend to go overboard with the eyes sometimes. I'm glad I didn't this time. Because this horse is such a dark horse, I decided to go with the highlights of the horse first and just to see if I need the shading or not. In the end, I didn't. For this, I was using a marker brush on about a half, he's ripping the towel now, about half opacity and using an eraser just to kind of blend it all together. I do go in with a darker blue at a point, and that was just to shade in the feathers on the socks, because what I do is I normally use highlights, not highlights, but levels, different levels. Or was it levels? I don't think it was levels. I use different modes for each, for like my um, shading. So I think this one had overlay, and it just, you can't see that on white or colors that are near white. So, and there we go. Change it over to a more blue. All that shading's about to go except for where the socks are, just so that they have a little bit of depth instead of just being like this dark white. I do end up forgetting to record the um, little ground I decided to use and the textures. But that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this and have a good day.